Since the new Black Templars box set came out, I tried my best to find the perfect recipe for black. And black being the color of my soul. I finally got it right and I'm gonna share it with you. In few simple steps to not waste or steal much of your valuable time. So I'll give myself three minutes to explain and demonstrate that, shall we? So I painted over this sergeant faded black, saving just the head. Then I'm taking French blue from AK Interactive and I mix it with black. Here you can't actually see it on the palette because of the light reflecting on the paint itself, but I'm gonna show you on Procreate the gradient of gray that I'm looking for. Of course, the color is called French blue, so it's gonna have a uh, bluish tint. Like you saw on Procreate, it's a very dark, dark gray, and I'm gonna cover 60% of the surface with this color, and I'm using a very wet consistency, the same technique that I used for my video, Dark Angels, I put it right here. Back then I talked a little bit too much in the intros, but you can skip ahead. It's a richer gray technique, so layering up with thin layers, creating texture, little scratches and little lines, for me, it's it's way more fun. There are some key factors to follow for black to read as black. Number one, starting from a matte surface. Number two, starting with a very, very dark gray to layer in most areas. Number three, reducing the amount of space for the highest highlights. Number four, the hedge highlights are important. They're there. For example, the previous black templar I did in another video it read more like gray and that's why I decided to post another video about a black templar because I think I didn't succeed the first time and I'm not gonna give up. After a couple of layers of this dark dark grayish blue I just used the pure French blue to do my first highlight and here I'm gonna cover way less space. Uh, the color is gonna be pretty wet so not like layer consistency. We don't want this to cover at the first uh, layer. We want to create texture and build up in a couple of layers. You, you don't need to stay on the transition and on the buildup of the scratches for hours, two, three layers, and it's gonna be fine. And in this step, you'll see me feather out the color from the edges and creating little lines using my brush stroke. And that's really important to feather out the color while it's still not totally dry. Also creating and manipulating the pigment to move where I want it to move. So don't forget about that. And also don't forget Forget about subscribing if you like this. For the very very last light, we're gonna use just the light gray. In this case, it's pale gray for making interactive. We're just gonna use dots and little lines to put the final highlights. My highest points of light have to be very restricted, even though they can reach towards the white. Even here, uh, you need to slow down and be careful where you apply these dots. Use thin layers. Don't go crazy with the power of the saturation of the pigments go slow slow and steady slow and steady hey 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 so here the sergeant finally finished it's ready for the battlefield and I'm ready to go kick ass with this new kill team see you on the battlefield bye